EFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on the Tiger Financial News Network, 10 a.m. Eastern Time Market Update. And we're looking at the Dow down 40 after being down quite a lot more. It was down to the 34,615 area. That's the area I said to subscribers to my opening call. Watch out, that's got to be support. And now we're only down 45 at 34,772. The S&P also got a little bit of early weakness, but now it's coming back quite nicely. Did I just type in the wrong place? I did. There it is. The S&P is right now. It is um, up 15. This is really important because you want to use this nine period green exponential moving average as key support. It did that uh, Thursday, did that Friday, and now it's using it again today. MACD is good. Stochastic is 84%. That's good. So this is a very good sign, but I want to see 4,600 sometime this, this week. Uh, the QQQ, and I said to subscribers, we are going to move closer for the last couple of days. We've been looking at the NDX playing catch up the index 100 and wow is this catch up uh, up four and a half points at 366.41 uh this is really important because in the chapman methodology a buy signal to a buy mode implies at least four higher peaks we've only got to a b there should be a c above 37 371.83 sometime this week and that that'll be really good if we don't break down or so to trade back under the 355 level. Looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, well, it's struggling here. It's down 59 cents in 2001. Gold, this is going to be important because gold is just in this trading range. And I said a rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. And it's kind of stuck between the 1955 level and 1900. You're looking at crude oil, pretty much the same thing. Crude oil is now trading up. 4.24 at 103.51, acting really well, but still stuck in a range. We'll see how that range lasts this week. This is going to be the key, the TLT, down again today, down at 131. It's a very nice leg to the upside, but that's no good. Uh, you need to see the TLT, Treasury bonds, up in the 134, 135 area by Wednesday to say, aha, maybe in a shorter term uh, situation, yields can be coming down. We'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Don't forget, I'm doing a webinar for subscribers to my opening call uh, Wednesday week, April the 13th. Have a wonderful rest of the day. I hope you can stay for the show. Tiger Technicians Hour coming up. A great program here at TV.